Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to fix problems on your Mac. I love to teach people how to do things with their Mac, but I also get asked lots of questions about how to fix problems. Well, unfortunately, it's very difficult to be able to diagnose and fix a problem via an email exchange or a series of posts on a forum. Think of it this way. When you have a problem with your car, do you email your mechanic or do you take your car into your mechanic? Well, of course, you take your car in because the mechanic needs to see it firsthand to figure out what's wrong and fix the problem. Now, the same is true for computers. It's very difficult to diagnose a problem remotely. So what do you do if you have a problem? Well, here are some basic ideas that you can use for troubleshooting if you're not a computer expert. If you're having trouble with a particular application, one of the first things you want to do is quit and restart it. This may clear up any problems. Now, it depends on the piece of software and who wrote it, but a lot of times quitting out of it and restarting it resets a lot of the variables in the program and might clear up some simple problems. A more extreme version of that is to log out of your account and log back in. You can do this before jumping all the way to restarting your computer. Logging out of your account means quitting all the applications that are running in it and kind of clearing out all the memory associated with you as a user. And then logging back in sometimes can clear up some simple problems as well. And if that doesn't work, of course, you can always go to the good old restart. Restarting can be very handy because it forces all applications to quit, all data to be cleared, and sometimes software can find its feet once it restarts from scratch. The next step is to search the internet to see if anybody else has had the same problem and has found a solution. Try using the name of your software. Say if you're looking for iMovie, use the term iMovie and describe the problem in a series of keywords and look through Google. If you don't come up with a solution, try rephrasing the search. Sometimes you have to do this several times before you might come up with a post somewhere where somebody talks about the issue. Now at this point if you haven't found a solution, I would try to get some first hand help. One of the easiest ways to do that is to make an appointment at your nearest Apple store for the Genius Bar. A common misconception is, is you need to be under warranty for that. That's not true. Any Apple device at any time you can bring it in and you can ask their opinion. If there's something broken and they have to repair it then the warranty comes in. But the advice is free. Now if you don't live near a Apple store you may want to find a local Mac repair shop or Mac expert and have them help out. It's very useful to have a resource like that nearby that you can go to. Now a more extreme thing you can do is try reinstalling the application you're having trouble with. Now misconception is this gets rid of your documents that you created with that application. That's not true at all. It just reinstalls the application itself. Your data is separate. Same thing if you want to go to the extreme route of reinstalling your operating system. You can do that using the disk that came with your Mac or a Snow Leopard disk. Now if you reinstall the operating system you don't wipe the hard drive to do it. That option is there on the disk but don't choose it. Simply reinstall the operating system. All your data and all your applications will remain there and this can fix a lot of problems and it could fill in gaps of parts of the operating system that may be missing because of something you may have done. So here's some more general tips for troubleshooting. One of the things I find people don't really do is try to narrow down a problem. So say you're having trouble with an application. Try quitting all other applications, log out, log back in, or restart. And just have that one application running and see if the problem occurs then. Another thing is if you're having trouble with some hardware or even software, try unplugging all the peripherals you're not using. Say you've got printers and scanners and cameras and everything plugged into your Mac. Try unplugging all of that so you narrow it down so you're only using your Mac for that one specific thing and see if the problem still occurs. Also don't forget to quit any extensions or add-ons to OS X that you may be running at the time. Another thing to do is check for any updates to the software that may fix your problem. Now software update takes care of Mac OS X and any Apple programs, but if it's a third party program, check the website to see if there's an update for that as well. Now I would be remiss if I did not mention backups. Make sure you're backing up your Mac, get an external hard drive, use Time Machine. You want to do your backups before you ever run into any problems. Once you run into problems, it may be too late. So there's some general troubleshooting tips. The most important thing here is to realize that if it's a serious problem, you probably need somebody to look at it firsthand just as you would if you had a problem with your car. So know where your nearest Genius Bar is or local Mac repair shop or make friends with a nearby Mac expert. Till next time, this is Gary with Mac Most Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.